we play well on the road and I think that with that Olympic break in in the, in the middle there and the six games after that it's going to be challenging but I think our group can handle it you, you were the assistant coach <laughs> in Ottawa yes remember 1992 yes. 93 yes. Yes. yes you had a phenomenal road record that year do you remember yeah. that year I think we won one game yeah, yeah. I'm trying to game. make the point here that he helped you win that game <laughs> do you, <laughs> that, this was you the most disappointing <laughs> moment of my career <laughs> in my life now you guys came in and you uh you hadn't won a game in the road. Where, it was very did, late in the year. Where did you we see win it up game? on the screen in oh, the aisle? Oh, yeah. You might recognize the goaltender. No, he didn't win a Vesna. Uh, that's Glenn Healy. And that goal was late in the game. And the bench erupted like you guys had won the Stanley Cup. And well, I laid on the ice. I thought I was going to well, throw up. There's the proof that if you don't get the goaltending, you can't win. <laughs> You want to thank Glenn now? <laughs> yeah. and it was Laurie Boschman that scored the winning yeah. goal. It was a 4-3 goal, and he and got I'll, one into the I'm, empty net to get the hat trick. I tried to put those, year, those years behind me. So I, don't, I. I don't remember <laughs> them. So, <laughs> Listen, uh, you signed a three-year extension in June, uh, combined with the year you had left uh, on your contract that essentially uh, saw you head into this season on a four-year deal. It's the kind of security that uh, a lot of NHL coaches can only dream of. Does it make you a better or different coach? Oh, it makes me the same coach. I mean, you can't talk about job security as a head coach in the NHL. Uh, you know, this game is about winning. Uh, the pressure uh, is there consistently and the pressure that you put on yourself to make sure that your team is ready and, and performs on the ice. So, I mean, obviously, I, I, I love the fact that I've got a four-year deal and that ownership and management have the confidence in me. But at the end of the day, we all know that this game is about winning. And if you want to keep your job, you have to win. Two-part question for me, uh, and it's only because I never get on this lousy show, <laughs> so I finally got on, so I'm going to ask it. Roberto Luongo, uh, you make him captain. And to me, that that's, I, I mean, th the only other goaltender was Bill Dernan. Years and years back, he was a guy who used to be ambidextrous, played with both hands. How did you come to that decision? And who's the best player that you've ever coached? The, the dream guy you say, I wish I could have 23 of him. Well, to tell you the truth, the, uh, the Roberto decision, this was uh, during a, a multitude of conversations that Mike Gillis and I, I were having. And we were looking at characteristics that we wanted our captain to have. And, uh, you know, Marcus Nazlin had just left. And then when we put those characteristics, those qualities that we were looking, we had quite a few players that had some of those qualities, but we only had one that had them all, and that was Roberto. I mean, he's an unbelievable example. Uh, his preparation is uh, by far the best I've ever seen. And then when we put all those qualities together, we came up with him. And uh, when he came to training camp that year, I asked him if he was interested in the job. And uh, he, obviously, he was real surprised, uh, but uh, he wanted that challenge. He wanted to be the guy. And uh, that's why we made him captain. If you ask me who the best player I've ever coached. Don't pick me. No, but I, 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 have, I, knew, I almost had you in Montreal, but you turned our back to us. That, I, I, about yeah, that. I yeah, apologize. I couldn't learn French that fast. <laughs> exactly. But uh, it has to be, uh, like Roberto has to be up there. His uh, work ethic. I mean, he had an off game, um, last game in Minnesota. He was the first yeah. guy on the ice yesterday. He, uh, he worked. Uh, you know, uh, almost a full hour more with uh, our goaltender coach Ian Clark. So uh, he has to be right up there. Okay, more with Elaine Vigneault uh, after this break. Uh, head coach of the Vancouver Canucks is our guest on After Hours on the heels of a significant 6 2 victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins tonight. After Hours continues live from GM Place. You know, some NHL tough guys have said of their coaches, what would he know? He has never been in a scrap in his life. But that cannot be said of Bam Bam Vigneault. <laughs> and then it's Vigneault who attacks Secord. Now in front of the net, Fraser and LaPointe will tangle. And everyone paired up. Carlson trying to get away. And Secord really handing it to Al Vigneault. <laughs> You know, we had you on this program, uh, Ellen, a couple of times previously, and, that's, I, and that footage we just found now, is your back still oh, sore from yeah, C-Corp Suplex? I remember that one because <laughs> we stayed like this. For, I, I, it sounded like, it looked like a half an hour, but it's probably just a couple of minutes. And Al Secord kept talking in my ear saying, don't let me go, kid. And I was saying, don't worry, I'm not going <laughs> to let you go. And I was grabbing his arms and there wasn't a chance I was letting him go. <laughs> hey, you played 42 games, three years in the St. Louis organization, and you definitely knew what your job was. How big is the soft spot in your heart for tough guys who make their living that way? 
Well, without a doubt, I, I understand what they're going through, but the, 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 the game has changed quite a bit from that time to today's hockey. Like, in that, in, in that era, you couldn't refuse a fight. I mean, if somebody challenged you, you had to go. Now, today, I mean, guys talk to one another. Do you want to go? Not right now. We'll go later, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the way the fights are today and the size of the guys, like for Darcy Hordachuk, uh, to want to fight with Bugard. I mean, holy. Yeah. I mean, there's a guy that's six foot seven, six foot eight, uh, real big, real strong. I mean, the players are so much bigger, faster, and stronger today that uh, it makes uh, me respect those gentlemen quite a bit. We are out of time. Wish we had more of it. Thanks for joining us, Lionel. Really appreciate it. A lot of fun, guys. Uh, congratulations yes. on the win tonight. So, Lane Vigneault, head coach of the Vancouver Canucks, our thanks to him for joining us on After Hours.